Hi everybody, this is Michael from TeensTech.com and here's a quick look at Gingerbread 2.3 and the Nexus S. So uh, here you can see the Nexus S, I'm going to show you the hardware itself. Contour display, uh, so it fits to your face. Uh, USB port right here, micro USB, and headphone jack. You have a uh, on and off button right there. Rocker right there for volume. Speaker and back facing camera 5 million megapixels and a LED flash and a front facing camera right there. So that's mainly the hardware with the Nexus S. So I'm going to show you the difference with 2.3 versus 2.2 on my G2 over here. So as you can see, um, well first of all you can see the the buttons itself that slide it open are a bit different. This is a bit darker, that's a bit more transparent. So I slide it open here and I slide this one you can see the bottom tray itself is a bit different. I'll zoom in so you can see it a bit more. Um, the tray itself is a tad different. This is darker, looks a bit more elegant. That's a bit, I don't know, transparent. Uh, but, uh, so th that's really the only difference in the home screen itself. The, I'm not too sure, but this these buttons look a bit larger, maybe because there's a less on here. But uh, that's always been there. Now, we also have that the top notification bar is a bit different, as you can see fully black while this is really bright and white. This saves battery on AMOLED displays and most other displays which I, which I think is why Google stick with, stuck with it. And the main color scheme now versus how it used to be white and black, it is now more like orange and green and black. Um, so you can see it's a bit more dark on the top, it's almost like Sense UI or TouchWiz UI. Um, so most other stuff is the same. Uh, we have this menu thing looks exactly the same. You can see the AMOLED display looks a lot better than on here. The black just is better. Another little touch up that they had was um, let's say when you're scrolling through a menu you have when you go through all the way it had rather than having on the iPhone or TouchWiz it bounces back. This time it just does a little nice uh, orange uh, color so that it does, it's more productive, so when you're bouncing like this, it doesn't bounce back here when you actually want it to go down there. So it pr keeps it more productive and actually useful. Now while on here, it just slides. Uh, nothing actually happens. Um, another difference is the menu button itself. You can menu that's all white, as you can tell. Here, it's a bit, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bit transparent, so you can kind of see through. Um, so it looks a bit more better. It looks a bit, bit better, I'm sorry, bad grammar. Um, than elsewhere, like on 2.2. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, another difference is the keyboard itself. So let's say I want to type something. Okay. Um, you can, let's say, I'm going to do a message, new message. Okay, so let's say I want to type something. You can see how the keyboard is a tad different. This is a bit uh, bigger keys, but this one's more. Uh, it has all the touch, it's just better altogether. It's more like the ones you get from the market. So you can see I can hold down multiple keys and it works on here. Only one works. It's only doing G. Um, also, this has better text predictions. When you go right here and you say H-E, you can see how it knows what you're trying to do up here. So you can do H-E-L-L -L, and then it has a feeling you're going to say help because you're meant to say help but you're saying H-E-L-L. -L. Okay, so pretty much it, it has really good correction, and while you're typing, it's a H E L K O, and you want to say hell, hell holes, I guess. You press space, and it switched it to hell holes. That's kind of wrong, but it, it's getting there. It just has to learn what you like and how you type. Cause the better, the more you type, the better it is. Also, the off is more like one of the old TVs. You can see when you press it, it <clears throat> pretty much. Uh, shuts down like an old display, unlike the G2 or two, any 2.2 device, it just turns off. So it's just pretty cooler. Um, there's a lot of speed improvements. The res there's a, they have better touch responsiveness. You can see how it's a bit slower. Um, yet this is running a better processor, the Nexus S. But uh, you can see if I go home, it just slides a lot better and everything just is smoother, which is why now that Google has gone a lot farther and made 2.2, 2.1, 2.0, and really made it speed increases. They can now work on the little touch-ups that 
uh, make Android just a better device for consumers and others. So uh, that is mainly difference. There also is difference in the camera application. Uh, in this, you can see there's now this thing right here that allows for you to choose front or back facing camera. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then you click back again or whatever you'd like. So that's on really the main difference. Right now, there is no full integration within Android itself for the front facing camera, yet there are third party apps. So I have a rumor that there will be uh, Google Talk video chat in the next implementation, even at 2.3.1 or so, um, because they, they found icons elsewhere uh, in the SDK. So uh, th that is the main differences. There are just little icon differences. You can see the phone icons different. Also, yeah, the phone application itself looks different. It just looks better. I uh, can see that. I don't know what number that is. Um, you can see how it looks better. It looks cleaner. Uh, when you press, it becomes green. Like I said, it's a green and green and uh, orange interface. So it, it just looks just a lot nicer. I, I'd say um, and more polished. Oh yeah. Also, the icons on the top itself look different. This has I don't know if you can see um, a battery up and down. Well, this has battery side to side, and the Wi-Fi bar is always there, even if Wi-Fi is not even on. And that is all white cellular, and that's uh, green cellular thing. Um, and also, it's white versus black. It's the white time versus the black time. Um, that, that's the main difference between the two phones as of right now. Uh, I, if I, I'm not found anything else. Uh, so, oh, it's all, yeah, one other thing, I'm sorry. There's the downloads uh, application right here. You can actually check your downloads and view your downloads and uh, edit them or delete them. Unlike else, unlike in the 2.2 uh, where you go to the browser and you do it. And also there is the new NFC capabilities, which is out on, this, on the Nexus S and not any other phone yet. But there is now a tags application. Um, you can see right here, so if you hit it on an NFC type thing, it'll explain right here pretty much what NFC is. Uh, it'll tag whatever you hit. So you can see you can uh, pretty much... NFC is technology that you have the NFC chip in your phone and in a piece of paper or some poster. And if you hit your phone against that poster, it will bring, it'll give a tag to your phone, much like in a, uh, if you ever play, used Hawker or Bump, like that iPhone application, you can bump a contact that's similar to that. And the future is doing payment to their credit card and things like that. So that they're trying to revolutionize that. And behind the scenes with uh, 2.3, better battery life, faster, it has more APIs, uh, it has gyroscope capabilities, which means better gaming, better graphics for gaming. I think it has uh, the new graphic capabilities that came out with the iPhone 4 um, and the iPod Touch 4G. Uh, so it's, it's, so far it's been an amazing update, so much better, it's now really is on par with the iPhone 4 and hopefully your phone, if you have Android, it comes out on it and I'm going to write a full review hopefully on 2.3 and the Nexus S. I also have the Chrome OS CR48 on my desk right now, I'm going to do the review this weekend, so subscribe and visit my website, teenstech.com. See you.